Hi guys, it's Jody, and welcome to the This Little Piggy, Piggy Love collab. I am so excited to be a part of this collaboration with all these amazing artists, and I love that we are auctioning off the pieces that we're doing for a piggy sanctuary. And if you've been following along so far in the, on the collaboration piggy train, you kind of know about the details already. But uh, starting uh, with the first video that we did with Lisa's, the uh, auction for all the pieces will be going on and it starts and it goes through uh, Valentine's Day, the 14th of February. But the link is below and all the pertinent information is going to be down in the description box if you want to participate in the auction of any of these beautiful pieces. So with that being said, we all were given a, a heart, a MDF heart, which I will be doing a transfer bloom on. I'm really excited to do this piece. So without further, further ado, let's go get started. All right, we are going to go over the colors, the cell activator, the pillow, and then we are going to get started with our piece. And you can see the Valentine's theme here. I do have some of this little piggies. Uh, the three paints that I'll, that I'll, well, I'm going to show you all of them, but the, the three tube paints I have are mixed up with my Valspar Varathane. You'll see that on the screen there. And then the two piggies I have, they are mixed up with my Dutch Boy Joe Sonia Pouring Medium Mix. And you'll see that on the screen there. So I'm just going to run through the consistencies of everything really quick. And you'll see the color on the screen. But here is our fluorescent pink. Again, this is Valspar Varathane. And then this is this little piggy Athena. There's that consistency. And then we've got Joe Sonia's red violet. See that on the screen there. And then this is this little piggy. This is a rose quartz. This is an interference color. Oops that. There's that one. Again, this is uh, Dutch Boy Joe Sonia pouring medium mix. And then finally, we have uh, the Bordeaux Red Arteza. And this is Valspar Verthain pouring medium mix. Now, my I've got two cell activators. I've got my black. I've got just a little bit left of the Amsterdam. Not even sure you can see what's in there, but you'll be able to see the gold consistency. They're pretty much the same thickness. It's gotten a little bit thick on me at the bottom there. And then here's the gold that I uh, typically like to use. You'll see it on the screen there. But there's that consistency right there. And then my pillow. I just have to stir this up just a little. This is my Glidden Premium in Satin that we're going to be using today. There's that consistency. So now I am going to bring you over to the to the spinner box and talk about the, the piece we're going to do and then we will go from there. All right, this is the substrate we're going to be using today. This is a 15 inch heart uh, MDF that uh, we were given to use for this collab and the auction that's attached to it. I just taped it up on the back here really nicely and I want to do... A blooms transfer on here because I, I I want it to be almost minimalistic. We're gonna we're gonna swipe a gold background with the gold cell activator, and then we're gonna do a blooms transfer or a, a bloom on my board uh, back over on the bench, and then we're gonna transfer it just with palette knives because I I kind of want it wispy. I you know I I can say what I want, but sometimes the paint does something else. Uh, but my idea anyway is to kind of have some just just some wispiness. I don't want it to take over the whole piece. I kind of want some background with just the lacy effect and then the transfers and the ribbons and all the beautifulness that always comes with that. So that's my idea. That's what we're going to go with here. So I am going to bring you back over to the bench and we are going to uh, actually do our bloom first because then we'll let that rest while I uh, flood this and then we'll swipe the background on. So we're going to head back over to the bench. All right, I got my transfer board here and we're going to get some pillow on it. Like so. I don't know how much paint I'm going to need since I do want that lacy background. So I think this should be plenty. And I'm going to lay down this hot pink first. bit 
more. Who doesn't love hot pink, right? I love this Athena. Probably one of my top, top 10 piggies is this one right here. All right. Let's get that lusciousness in there. That. And then we have red violet. Oops, being a little messy, but that's okay. And then we have the rose quartz interference. And then finally the Bordeaux red. plenty of colors on here. Okay. For this, I'm only going to use the black cell activator. I thought about using the gold, but then I thought, no, you know what? We have all the shimmers and we're going to have the shimmery background. So I think we're just going to go with the black cell activator for this. Should be enough. I think that's a good mix. That is really, really, really pretty. Don't tell me I have to do a floating bloom with these colors now. <laughs> you know how my mind gets. Because <laughs> we're going to wreck this. And this is so pretty. I'm going to let this rest while I go flood uh, the heart. And then we'll get the, uh, the background on the heart. All right. I've got this all flooded and I just push it out everywhere with just a nice even coat. I'm going to work with this and maybe another smaller palette knife. And I'm going to kind of go on the diagonal, I think, uh, for the cell activator, the, the gold cell activator for the lacy background. Like so. Just a thin layer. We'll just start right here. I love this and it's gonna it, it, it's gonna get pushed out both ways so I'm really not worried about any little bits right there so now the fun part well this was fun too but we're going to transfer our balloon all right Ooh, I don't want to drip here is this bloom and all its gorgeousness I don't want to drip on this here so i'm going to do it off uh, i'm gonna but i'm gonna use i'm gonna use this and a few others and i'm just gonna take little sections of this
this is awesome. All right, I'm gonna do a spin so that we can get this moving and I'm gonna, I might guide it, I might pick up a little bit more paint, I'm not sure, but I've got plenty of paint on here and I do want some uh, of, the, of the negative space with the lacy effect, so. Oh. <laughs> oh, so cool. I almost want that up just a little bit more. Oops. There we go. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. This is so Stellar. All right. I don't want to lose too much of that ribbon there. All right. I'm just going to keep. I'm going to do one more big spin right now. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh my gosh. this is just the coolest I don't know that I want to do anything else to it I mean I don't have a lot of movement and I can see in some of my red it's starting to separate just slightly but I it's gonna it's gonna dry okay as long as I don't go any further this is awesome <laughs> exactly what I was kind of thinking that I wanted for this piece. Oh, man. All right. I am claiming this a winner, winner, chicken dinner. I'm going to get cleaned up and I will bring over the flyover of this. All right. Here it is. I'm so excited for this piece. It turned out better than I imagined. I absolutely love it. And I love the background, how it turned out. I mean, I got a lot of background and I'm glad I stopped when I did because if you can see my black, it's starting to blur a little bit, which, you know what, I, I, for this piece uh, and the way everything's moving, I actually dig the effect. Really, really cool. Ugh. And I don't even mind that there's no cells right there. It kind of gives your eyes a place to rest, but I love that ribbon just going off right in there with the pink and then that deep red. Just gorgeous. And I love that some of these cells kind of stayed in here. I'm excited to see the shimmers that are going to come through from this piece. So I'll be back once this is dried to show you the dried results. All right, here's this piece all dry. Oh, it didn't move. I am so excited. This this piece just turned out so beautiful. I love all the, the ribbons and the layers and then how the background with the lacing just ties through. It's got some really neat subtle shimmers. So we'll We'll check that out momentarily. There are no other orientations but this one. <laughs> so, but oh, I love this, how it's just going off in the distance. And where you can see just all the lacing in there. So, so, so pretty. All right, let's go check out the shimmers on this piece. I love these subtle shimmers. You can totally see the background with the gold cell activator. But also we have the uh, rose quartz and then that Athena. And so it just kind of sneaks up on you in little sections as well. It's a sneak attack. <laughs> so super pretty. I'm going to flip you around and give you my final thoughts on this piece. I'm still a little bit in awe over this piece here. I just love it so much. I love how the background came out. I love how all the ribbons came out. I mean, it actually was kind of what I had pictured in my head. So I really hope you enjoyed uh, watching me create this piece. And if you wanna go participate in the auction for this piece or any of the others you've seen so far and will continue to see on this piggy train, again, the link is uh, in the description box below where you can sign up and go participate in it. So now we're gonna go get back onto the collab piggy train over to Raina, the witch of WTF. Her video is next and I am so excited to, to see what she does with her piece. So with that, thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.